Hello lovely listener. I am excited to have you once again on this channel and it is a great privilege to have you tune in uh, for this message. I do not take for granted the time that you spend here and the the the, the hope I have is that even as we we share in these thoughts uh, provoking words and even as we learn from the principles that we share on this channel uh, it will not be said of us that we were just hearers but then not doers of these um, the bible helps us to understand in joshua chapter 1 verse 8 that if we pay attention to the word of god and meditate on it day and night and observe to do what it instructs then we will have good success and our ways will be made prosperous so it is in the doing and in the application of the key things that we learn that we will see the results thereof if we only hear for hearing sake or if we only tune in and do not put to use the key principles that are shared it might be for us uh, the case that nothing really productive comes out of our listening so i would encourage you that even as you listen you take notes and that you will apply these things in your life in the very basic uh, aspects that you may not be uh, doing so well you want to apply due diligence and make progress and together we can build a generation that is thoroughly equipped uh, and thoroughly uh, diligent in all our dealings so that the next generations will see the results of our labor the results of our excellence and the results of our productivity you are welcome once again let's have a word of prayer gracious father we are grateful for today thank you so much for all that you are doing for us thank you for your grace that continues to sustain us for your mercies that endure forever father it is our plea and it is our hope that you will continue to guide us along the paths that make for true excellence and glory that according to the standards of your kingdom of God will become a blessing to this generation and those yet unborn, that your light will continue to shine through us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So, um, as you may be aware, uh, we, we are driving on a particular road this month and we are taking a, a turn into the excellence that uh, makes our progress sure and uh, evident to all and we want to uh, engage a series called or titled the principles of excellence and in this series we'll be considering some relevant uh, keys when it comes to excellence what it means to excel and what are the protocols or fundamentals that can make us consistent uh, in in terms of excellence true value and excellence and in this session which will be the first of many we would want to consider the title the fundamentals of excellence the fundamentals of excellence in one of my books titled the excellence of christ i made a key statement uh, concerning excellence and i i posited that excellence signifies the value of labor and the high price of putting in more than all others and also that excellence draws upon the edge to be a compelling influence in the right direction so many definitions or many descriptions have been given 
when it comes to excellence and many perspectives come in according to how people view what excellence is but in all its subjectivity we see that there is a certain element that sets people out a certain elements that makes people a compelling influence in the right direction and the key word here or the key phrase here is in the right direction so when we talk about excellence we are talking about that 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 spirit of influence that causes uh a certain atmosphere of productivity, a certain atmosphere of relevance, a certain atmosphere of peace and continuity. So when 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 we discuss excellence, we we must understand that it goes beyond just the output. It relates more into the content and the process that leads to the output and why is this so this is so because especially when we we come into our educational system and within our context largely it appears our focus is on output and therefore when we see somebody who uh, produces a certain outcome we we tend to ascribe to such a person the 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 symbol or the notation of excellence so in in our school system where you have an a in a particular course you are you are remarked as having been an excellent uh, student or so 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 to speak you you had an excellent grade so the focus now is is about getting an a or a good grade notwithstanding how it is gotten whether you cheat your way into getting it or you 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 take a dubious uh, approach towards getting that output we really do not care because many are drawn to the output rather than the process and the, the the approach towards that particular output and i am a proponent of excellent outputs excellent results but all the more uh, do i encourage and preach and propose an excellence in process where our goals are mastery oriented so that we can provide proof after our products or outputs are put to the test in 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 which case we will not have a lot of people that are presumed excellent because they 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 had the best of outcomes academically coming out and not being able to be productive when placed in key areas of work or key sectors of society that will be an anomaly that uh, we wouldn't want to continue on now there is a quote by my key mentor, Dr. Maus Muru, and in one of his teachings, he said that excellence will cost you what mediocrity will save you. So excellence will cost you what mediocrity will save you. And that is very important because um, excellence really Having understood that it, it entails the process, the, 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 the value and the extent of the process that leads to the outcome, uh, that's, that, that tells you that there's a certain price that needs to be paid in order to be truly excellent. And so if we are mediocre, if we are 
we are un willing to to pay the price of diligence pay the price of doing then although we may have the comfort of living because we are not exerted with pressure to be productive uh, it will cost us the 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 the, the true uh, time lasting uh, influence relevance and productivity that we desire so um when when we talk about excellence having having determined as a young person to to become valuable in every area and in every place that i find myself i have over the years been examining the scriptures and examining the lives of great men to understand the the keys that are, are, are able to keep us consistently valuable and that can help us to be able to navigate our way excellently onto a place where many people will, will will see the progress that we made and that we will not only become uh popular so to speak for the wrong reasons but will become influential people seeking influence that can transform generations influence that can positively shape the lives of many uh, around us and in my examination over the years on this matter of excellence uh, one key uh, personality in the scriptures the bible that that has really got me uh, continually uh, engaged in his ways is the man called daniel and a lot of us may be aware aware of how daniel in babylon uh, um, was such a great man and though an israelite rose through the ranks and growing up we we, we learned about how daniel was in the lions den and god shut the mouth of the lions and all and uh, i believe that if we take a deep uh, and 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 careful uh, attention to the the scriptures concerning daniel we will be able to now make out of ourselves a better uh, life a better way of dealing so that in every position that we are put in every environment that we find ourselves we can fulfill the scriptures concerning us as christians and even as uh, people that are, are are working to please god we we can find the, the 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 pathway that can help us to let our light so shine before men so that they will see the the the, the good works that we do and give glory to our father it is not only in declaring that we are the light of the world and the salt of the earth it is not only in declaring that we have an excellent spirit in us and that we have the mind of christ that is true that is fundamentally true and cannot be disputed but there is more to it there's a way of engaging the scriptures and the principles therein that can help us to now see the light in us practically shining uh, onto our world. And when, when we read Daniel chapter, chapter 1, Daniel chapter 1, the, the Bible introduces us to how to how um, Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, came to seize, lay siege over um, Israel. And when we go down to the verse 3 to 4, the scriptures says, And the king spoke to Asphenas, the master of his eunuchs, that he should bring some of the sons of Israel and of the king's seed and of the rulers, sons in whom, sons in whom was no blemish, 
but who were handsome and skillful in all wisdom, and who had knowledge and understanding, even those who were able to stand in the king's palace, and to whom they might teach the writing and language of the Chaldeans. And when you look at this particular verse, verses of uh, Daniel chapter 1, it tells you that the kinds of people that after the captivity of Israel, uh, the kinds of people that were selected to be trained so as to become servants in the palace, these were not just ordinary uh, people. These were not ordinary children or young people persons the the scripture says they were of the king's seed and of the rulers and that they had no blemish in them they were they were uh, they were handsome and skillful in all wisdom and they had knowledge and understanding and one key uh, thing about these these individuals was that they were also having the ability or the potential to stand before the king or to serve in the palace. But however, we realize that in the discourse, Daniel uh, rose through the ranks and became a prominent person in the kingdom. And that is wha what, what even makes it more interesting. And when we look at a scripture in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 16, which a lot of us know and quote. It says that a man's gift makes room for him and brings him before the great. So a man's gift gives room or makes room for him and gives him the opportunity to have access to great people. So we see that because of these qualities that were uh, evident in the, the the children of israel of the king's seed and the rulers they they qualified uh, by their gifts and their potential and abilities to be able to stand before the king and were therefore selected um, selected uh, by the eunuch to be part of the people that will be trained However, when we go to Proverbs 22, verse 29, it helps us to understand something. It says, Do you see any truly competent workers? They will serve kings rather than working with ordinary men. Proverbs 22, 29. From the New Living Translation says, Do you see any truly competent workers? They will serve kings rather than working for ordinary people. The NIV says, Do you see someone skilled in their work? They will serve before kings and they will not serve before officials of lower ranks. So we see that uh, happening with David and that Daniel, sorry, and that is something we'll be discussing along the line. That although the gift of a man, although your gift, that ability, that potential that you have that makes you um, unique, can make room for you where there seems to be a crowding around. When you, you have the opportunity to be before the kings, what will keep you there is the, 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 the level of skill and diligence, the competence that makes you even above your peers. Uh, con let's, let's, let's look at a few things. Now, excellence... Uh, by by its implications, looking at the fundamental elements, excellence is something that begins in your mind. Excellence is something that be begins with your mindset. And before you can be a consistently excellent and productive person, 
it takes you to have a certain mindset and conviction that decides and determines to be the best and to do your best at all times no matter the people present or not present and no matter the rewards that are available or not and it's <clears throat> it's very um critical because this mindset is what will now set us on course to not only uh, become people that appear to be excellent but that will become people that are proven to be excellent um martin luther king one influential figure uh, in history said something it says that if you are a man if a man is called to be a street sweeper he should sweep streets even as michael angelo painted and michael angelo is somebody that uh, once said when painting that although you know it appeared he was painting in the dark you can read about him later painting in the dark and someone asked you are painting at a certain place and point where nobody can see you and he, his response was that although nobody can see me god can see me and that was a mindset so in his dealing in his painting he was painting such that although there may not be an applause from people he knows that there's somebody that is looking at him and appreciating his work and uh, martin looked at the cane continues um, he should sweep streets even as michelangelo painted or bit beethoven composed music or shakespeare wrote poetry he should sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will pause to say here lived a great street sweeper who did his job well and it's 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 the case that when when we find a street sweeper we will think that this is a job that is not lucrative this is something that is not to be desired but then with a mindset of excellence the street sweeper determines to sweep the streets as uh, martin luther would say sweep the streets so well that the heavens and the earth will pause and say that this is a great street, street sweeper that did his job so well so it begins with our mentality our consciousness it begins with how our our thinking is uh, fine-tuned and when we read the scripture in romans chapter 12 verse 2 it says we should not be conformed to the patterns of this world but be transformed by the renewing of our mind so the renewing of our mind and setting our belief system in such a way that it it wants to follow the standard of god's kingdom and god's kingdom standard is a standard of excellence It's a standard that wants us to let our light so shine so that in our good works and in our dealings with men they will take notice of the fact that these are people that belong to a god that is productive excellent and all knowing so our belief systems influence the excellence that we express in all areas and for all occasions and with all persons and uh, that is particularly important if we want to really be people of excellence so now let's take a scripture from proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 and when we read proverbs 23 the verse 7 it helps us to uh, understand that as a man thinks in his heart so is he so now this scripture is telling us that as you are in your thinking as you are in your 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 belief system as you are in your way of perceiving and understanding issues so will your dealings or your actions be and so it is important that our mindset is set to that particular uh uh 
attitude or tune of wanting to be at all times a diligent and excellent fellow, wanting at all times, determining, having a consciousness of the fact that you are made to excel and therefore notwithstanding the other avenues that may be there for you to get the result without necessarily paying the correct price, you will still ignore those ways and stick with the standards that make for true lasting excellence and it is a mindset that we need to build it is an attitude excellence really is an attitude it is not a one-time event it is not um, the fact that you you are able to score very high in a in a, a science test and uh, you know that is all it is about you being able to apply wisdom and be at all times consistently able to prefer solutions that are relevant to our uh, needs and that is where mastery comes in a mastery mindset is what will cause you to excel consistently and at all times and one other key one other fundamental of excellence aside the fact that excellence begins with our mind and our mindset is that true excellence is grounded on the standards and principles of distinction and our lord jesus christ was somebody that personified excellence unto us and he lived his life to such a level that when you read Luke chapter 2 verse 52, the Bible says Jesus increased or grew in wisdom, in stature, and found favor both with God and with men. So in his dealings, he was not only finding favor with God, but men were seeing a character, a way of dealing that made them so convinced that this is a man that was sent from god so we see the evidence of that in john chapter 3 where nicodemus went to him and said we know that you are a man sent from god because there was something about jesus that although the critics were not uh, openly um able to admit to his his level of productivity and value they they couldn't resist it in their in their private uh, spaces and that is what true excellence is such that it is grounded in the standards of god's kingdom in the standards and principles of distinction that are characterized by the lord jesus and what he has called us to to be remember he says we are the light of the world and the salt of the earth yet he says we should let our light shine if anybody is going to uh, be able to excel through consistently and uh, without any uh, doubt such a person must be able to build a certain standard that is consistent with what Jesus has said for us so that we don't let our lights be hidden under a bushel and really the light will be hidden under a bushel if we don't understand the systems of operating the light that is within us so true excellence is grounded on the standards and principles of distinction as established in God's kingdom. And Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says, We should seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all other things will be given unto us. And so once we seek the kingdom of the kingdom of God is a government system where God is the king and ruler, and the standards are set by him for us to follow. So if we are in this this kingdom and we don't understand and follow the principles and standards of the kingdom although the scriptures has promised us a lot and has said that you know uh, we we will we 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 have overcome the world and you know and how we are excellent and how we 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 will operate in high dimensions and all that we will not see the practical reality of these because we have not yet engaged the standards and principles of the kingdom. Daniel was a man of very high moral standards. In Daniel one verse eight, he says he purposed in his heart not to defile himself with the king's food so one fundamental element of true excellence is the fact that you have a standard that is rightfully placed 
consistent with the standards of God's kingdom and that you stick with that standard because you have built a consciousness first of all with a mindset to always be a, a person of value and true excellence and the third fundamental is that true excellence is rooted in consistent behavior so it is not about occasionally being or doing what is right or being able to produce good results or results that are are pleasing it is about doing what is right at all times and in any occasion whether or not there is a crowd to applaud you this is something i posited early on so excellence is about consistency in behavior and it is not about being perfect we not talk we are not talking about perfectionism there's a quote that i found some time ago that says that uh, perfection is attained not when there is nothing more to add but when there's nothing more to take away. So it is not that you get to a point where you think you have arrived. Excellence does not deal with an arrival mentality. Excellence has a mindset of continuous improvement, consistent behavior that tends to improve rather than appear not to be able to uh, take in more. So it is consistent excellence, true excellence is about consistent behavior. And when you examine the life of David in Babylon, we will expand more on that later. You realize that right from the beginning until the end, there was consistency with his convictions. There was consistency with his behavior, his dealings. And that is something that marked him out, set him out. So though the gifts of these children brought them into the opportunity to serve in the palace, the, the distinction about Daniel, his diligence, his mindset, and the standards he so upheld and the consistency of his behavior made him somebody that gained the favor of the eunuch. And when you go back to um, Daniel chapter 1, you realize that although the king placed a demand that these people be fed on 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 the the meat of the palace the food of the palace daniel purposed not to defile himself and therefore he he asked of the eunuch the one in charge of the the people that were to be trained to allow he and his friends the three hebrew boys shadrach meshach and abednego to be fed on only vegetables and be given water to drink and how 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 the the eunuch responded is something that should get our attention. Going to verse ten of Daniel one, and the eun chief of the eunuch said to Daniel, "I fear my lord the king who has chosen your food and your drink. For why should I?" For why should he see your faces worse looking than the boys who are of your kind? Then you would forfeit my head to the king. So when Daniel made this request to the chief of the eunuchs, he said this that you are asking for means that you want to put my head to, to death. Because if the king should see you after this period of training and realize that you are not looking so good as somebody eating from the palace should look, then he would kill me. But Daniel said to him that try, try your servants for just 10 days. I beg you, try your servants for just 10 days and let them give us vegetables to eat. Then look then let our look be seen before you and then the look of the boys who eat of the king's food and as you see deal with your servants we see a man that is so full of conviction a man that was thick with the standards and principles of the god that he was serving and a man that was consistent in his ways and when he approached the chief of the eunuchs you know in this generation where we are so proud and so pompous and arrogant to a certain level believing that we have rights and it is my right and you know this is me and all that we would have arrogantly defied the the others and all that because we think we have a right 
but Daniel in this case in his excellence uh, of speech spoke to the the chief eunuch and <laughs> when when you you look at the the verse 9 the scripture says and God had given Daniel kindness and compassion before the chief of the eunuchs and how could a man put his life in danger just because a man called Daniel says in 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 10 days test us with just vegetables and water and see how we 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 will look there must have been something about Daniel that we are missing in this particular generation we talk about his excellence and you know we we claim we have the excellent spirit of God in us you know and we are we have the mind of Christ and all that that is amazing that is beautiful but there's something more to it that can help us to find favor before uh, even men as we stick also to the standards of God's kingdom and we we see that in a mindset in a consistency and in the 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 the, the determination to stick with the principles of God's kingdom and so Daniel found favor before this uh, chief eunuch and proceeded uh, to have that request granted and in 10 days as was said the 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 the, the chief eunuch looked upon them and they were so uh, good to look upon and when they were presented before the king subsequently the king found that these gentlemen daniel and the four hebrew boys were so different and distinct from the others so although initially we read that these were people that were full of wisdom and skill and you know well the king and prince uh, and were princes from israel and all that there was a certain demarcation when it came to the meeting the the, the king and one particular thing about excellence of speech, excellence of dealings, consistency of mindset and our, our upholding the standards of God's kingdom is that what will happen to us is like what happened to uh, Daniel. In the verse 16, once the chief of the eunuchs realized that these boys were looking better by sticking with the vegetables and water, the Bible says that he took away their part of the food and the wine that they were to drink and continue to give them vegetables. We, we want to blend into the systems of the world in order to find favor and be able to navigate our way on to the top. But that is not how you make your way to the top. You make your way to the top by sticking with the principles of God's kingdom. And that is where true excellence is revealed. That is where true, consistent, time-tested excellence is revealed. So it's, it's important that we understand the basics, we understand the fundamentals of excellence so that we don't complicate our lives and in the end be aggrieved that we don't see the results that the scriptures have proposed to us. There, there's more to it than just knowing what the scripture has said concerning your state. There's a need for you to understand the principles and the, the, the practical standards that are set in God's kingdom so that as your gift that God has granted you makes room for you, your diligence and excellence and distinction and value, your, 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 your light that is shining practically will be able to keep you before the kings because there are a lot of people that are are looking for the opportunity to be in the palace and it is not everybody that is able to come to the palace that will be sustained or taken in to serve the the, the king it, it is not just by our gifts that we are able to serve before the king or have opportunities that are uncommon it is by the diligence and skill and competence that we demonstrate in our dealings that is what set the daniel and his his three hebrew boys apart and even with the three hebrew boys in the end the distinction of daniel was further set apart and uh, he continued to reign across uh, uh, the, the 
different uh, kinship uh, periods. So um, in 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 our our strive in our quest to be excellent, it is important that we understand how we can be excellent by sticking to the kingdom principles that God has made available. Daniel found his way to the pinnacle because the king saw excellence in his dealings, his way of thinking, his way of doing. Everything about him set him apart. And as we continue this particular uh, uh, drive, on excellence this series on excellence will go into detail about certain practical things we can learn from men such as daniel joseph esther uh, and other key figures and we'll also take lessons from men and women in history that have demonstrated consistent excellence uh, in their dealings and to to leave you with today's message i would uh, reiterate the point that there are certain fundamentals of excellence that when we get right as as people that are aiming to live our fullest potential will help us in that course and the first is that we should build a mindset we'll talk more about mindsets subsequently but we need to build a certain mindset a certain way of thinking a certain understanding that can help us to consistently behave in a particular manner as a man thinks so he is on the outside and where your heart is that is where your treasure is so the heart usually in the scriptures also refer to our mind and our mindsets our ways of thinking our belief systems so where you believe and what you believe will determine how your actions follow so if we determine to be excellent we have to build a mindset that is excellent and secondly we should be grounded in the standards and principles of distinction as accorded to us by the word of god and in the kingdom of god as we seek the kingdom of god and tr strive to understand the protocols that are made available in this kingdom then we can have true excellence and true success remember joshua 1 verse 8 says that we will have good success and our ways will be prosperous if we stick with the, the instructions and the dealings of god S and also true excellence we must understand is about consistency in behavior and once we have fulfilled the the first uh, fundamental of mindset and also about standards and principles that are correctly grounded and uh, well well uh, uh, well well engaged then we will see some consistency in our dealings we will this De 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 determine in the end to excel at all times to paint well to sweep well to do our work well to learn well at all times not because there is a crowd crowd that will applaud us or that somebody will say uh, anything bad concerning us but because it has become part of us and part of our system of belief and so when we are sweeping the streets as martin luther said we'll treat sweep it so well so well so well than what we see in our 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 current environment and it's not only literally about street sweepers but the idea is that in anything that we find doing whether great or small we will demonstrate excellence in those and that is what will catch the attention of the king that is what will catch the attention of the chief of the eunuchs that is what will catch the attention of god that there's a man that was able to be faithful in the little things so let me give him the great things we are we are struggling most often because we have not yet excelled in the basic things of life and if we will then we will make amazing progress Thank you so much for for spending time today with with me on this channel and i believe that these basic things we have discussed today the fundamental issues of excellence that we have proposed will be something that will keep you thinking and that you begin to reshape your 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 understanding of excellence and that as we progress god willing next week um 
with our second session in this series we will be able to dig deeper and become better uh, in terms of our generation and be able to transform our lives and uh, be able to transform the generations after i pray that the lord god will keep you and make his face to continually shine upon you that in every place that you find yourself right now and in anything you find yourself doing that the excellence of christ will be seen in you and that you pay the price of diligence and be able to uh, do well in all that you do. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.